Hello everyone. So I wanted to make a video on uh, moving to Jira Cloud. And uh, in this video, I just want to share my thoughts on uh, <clears throat> whether you should move to Jira Cloud or not. Now, of course, uh, if you know me, if you have followed my videos, I'm sure you know that uh, I'm not a massive fan of uh, Jira Cloud. I mean, Jira Cloud it's good, it is nice, but when you are moving or when you're comparing it with Jira on-prem version, uh, it is not the same. I mean, of course, you know, on Jira Cloud, you have plenty of exciting features, but uh, when it comes to, even right now in 2024, Jira server or Jira data center, I should say Jira data center, not truly really Jira server. I think uh, the level of customizations, the, the way you can configure, customize Jira to solve your problems, to support your processes, there is no match, right? Now, in this video, actually, I actually want to focus on the pricing. So let us say you want to, you're considering, I mean, we just have like few days, or I, I guess, uh, <clears throat> I guess almost a month left to move to Jira cloud. In case you're thinking, let me try it to convince you not to move to Jira Cloud and stay on Jira on on-prem version. I mean, if, I mean, of course you have to migrate or you have to upgrade your license to Jira Data Center, and that would still be more beneficial, or uh, it will give you more output or more returns for your money. But let us talk about the money that you will be spending. So, if let us say you are on Jira software, I'm just going to give you a simple example. And uh, let us go to the pricing. And if you are on uh, data center, of course, you have to start with 500 users and it will cost you 42,000 USD, right? This is, of course, for, uh, I believe, uh, you know, annual, right? This is, this is for one year. And uh, this is something that you can, uh, I mean, do take a look at the details, but let us just focus on this figure. Now, if you know me again, I'm sure you know that I always tell that if you really want to get something great out of Jira or if you want to uh, use Jira in your organization, then you most likely <clears throat> only need two apps. Number one is a script runner for Jira. And of course, I'm going to talk about the data center version, of course. And if you are on 500 users, or of course, you have to start with 500 users, you will be paying uh, 3000 something, you know, per year. Similarly, you have uh, ECBI. So we are talking about uh, 42,000 plus uh, 3000, 45,000 USD. And then uh, we have uh, ECBI. And EVBI will cost you, let us take a look at the pricing for data center. EVBI will, EVBI will cost you another 3000. So basically 48,000 something is, some, is, is what you will pay. Now, of course, 48,000 USD is a, lot, is, is, a, is a lot of money. I agree. But at the same time, uh, you will be spending some money on uh, Jira Cloud. Let us take a look at Jira Cloud. And of course, when you're talking about Jira Cloud, and if you want to maybe compare it with Jira Data Center, then you should be looking at a premium because you don't really get, uh, because when you're using premium version, you get uh, advanced roadmaps. So because advanced roadmaps is something that you get with Jira Data Center anyways. So if you want to move to, let us say 200 user, uh, let us focus on annual. You will be paying 27,000, but uh, it is not really an equal comparison. So let us try 400 users. It is already 45,000, right? And on top of this, you will be paying uh, if you want to use some other app. L let us forget about those apps because, I mean, maybe EZBI because EZBI, I mean, also include script now. But let us use the exact number, 500 users. And uh, it will be 53,500. And if I took, if I look at the cloud version of EZBI, and if you're talking about uh, 500 users, it will cost you um, roughly same, a bit more, but uh, we have to basically talk about, okay, so 3,700. Let us also take a look at a script runner for Jira. It will be on cloud for 500 users. Let us take a look. Okay, 6,000. So 6,000 plus 3,700, roughly 
uh, let us say 10,000, and then you will be paying 53,000 uh, with basically 60 ish something more like more than 50 thousand pounds or not pounds, sorry, dollars. So you're anyways paying more on cloud for the same number of users. And I'm of course talking about 500 users. This figure will probably be different when you go up, but this cost should not be your sole criteria. I mean, of course, do look, do look at the cost because on server version, or I should say data center version, even if, we, even if we are using just one node, you will also be paying for, uh, <clears throat> of course, the infrastructure, you will have cost for, I mean, you will have to maintain it. So there are a cost involved, but cost wise, I mean, don't really think about uh, moving to cloud for, for saving cost or saving money or basically, uh, I know there are some benefits of cloud, but the, the the main reason why people started using or loving Jira was because of its ability of customize customizations. You can you can basically tweak Jira, tweak tweak Jira, customize Jira, configure Jira. You can do a lot of wonderful automations, and of course, when you have a script enough for Jira, you can do literally anything with it. And uh, it can be a good thing, it can be a bad thing, but uh, in most cases, of course, you will be doing it with the help of some consultant or some Jira, smart Jira admin consultant or a developer. So you need to, of course, not take care of a Jira instance. And when it comes to cloud, cloud is, of course, a bit fancy. It has a lot of wonderful features, but you don't really need those features in, in I mean, not all the time, but you, those features are not always... Uh, 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 I mean, if you're coming, especially if you're coming from Jira Data Center, then those features won't really impress you. And of course, you can do your evaluation. Uh, I'm, I'm sure uh, if you are thinking of moving to Jira Cloud, you will, you you must have done some some some, some analysis. Now, at the same time, of course, Jira Cloud has its benefits. Uh, some of my clients are on Jira Cloud, and uh, they it it works really well for them because. They never really looked at Jira Data Center, and because they never really started with Jira Data Center or Jira on-prem version, they don't really know what what was possible or what is possible on Jira on-prem version. They just they are just happy with the cloud version of Jira. But especially if you're coming from the uh, so if you're using Jira Data Center or a Jira on-prem version with the script runner, then I'm sure you know the. Uh, the capabilities of Jira, which you will never get on Jira Cloud, and you will probably be frustrated. Your users will be frustrated. Uh, Jira Cloud is, of course, not really. I mean, I'm not really saying it is slow or fast, but uh, the the experience is not the same. I mean, I mean, uh, I know Jira Data Center version or Jira on-prem version is. Uh, I mean, there are not really a lot of improvements or uh, uh, new features for a long time. I think it has been same. I mean, I, I know we have different versions of Jira uh, on-prem version, but uh, uh, there is no really there, there is not really a new, uh, totally different feature that you will uh, be excited for. It's just the same old Jira, but it works and uh, it will solve your problems. All right, that is it. That is all I wanted to talk about in this uh, in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.